Battery is the primary power source, you can commonly find them being used in automotive, backup power supplies, mobile devices, laptops, iPads, and many other portable electronic devices. They are available in different forms, sizes, parameters, and shapes. Can you imagine the situation without these energy sources? We wouldn't be able to build any wireless electronic device and have to rely on wired power source only, even electric cars and space missions would not be possible without batteries. Today in this video we discuss briefly about various types of batteries, their classification, terminology and specifications. So let's get started, welcome to SD Robotics. Let's see the basic difference between a battery and a cell. Cell. It is a single power generating unit that stores the chemical energy and then converts it into electrical energy. For example, if we take cells that we use in watches or remote controls, it can give maximum of 1.5 volt to 3 volts. Battery. It is the collection of electrochemical cells which are either connected in series or parallel. The best known example for a battery is a power bank which is used to charge up smartphones. If we ever see the inside of a power bank, we can find set of batteries arranged serially or parallel based on the requirement. Batteries are arranged in series to increase the voltage and in parallel to increase the current. Now we know the various technical terms used while working with batteries and their details. Power Capacity Power capacity is how much energy is stored in the battery, which is measured in watt-hour. A watt-hour is the voltage that the battery provides, multiplied by how much current the battery can provide for some amount of time, generally in hours. Since voltage is kept constant for a battery type, due to its internal chemistry, so it is measured in amp-hours, or milliamp-hours. We generally see the battery ratings as 2000 milliamp-hours, while reading the specifications of a smartphone or power bank. But what does that mean? Let's see. This 2000 mAh battery has a capability to deliver 2 amperes of current to the load for 1 hour. The time that the battery works continuously depends upon the load current that it consumes. So if the load consumes only 1 ampere of current, then the battery can stay alive up to 2 hours. Similarly if we increase the load to 4 amperes, then battery can stay only for half an hour. Power Capability However, the amount of current we can really draw from a battery is often limited, and it's called as power capability. It is also known as C-rating. Theoretically, it is calculated as AH divided by 1 hour. For an example, let's consider a battery which has 10,000 mAh of power capacity. After dividing 10,000 mAh by 1 hour gives 10,000 mA, which is equals to 10 ampere. So the C-rating of the battery is 10 C. For an example, a 100 mAh coin cell has no problem providing a 1 mA for 100 hours. But, if we try to draw 100 mA from it, it'll last a lot less than 1 hours or it could be damaged. Let's look at another example, it is a lithium polymer battery with a power capacity of 1800 mAh and a C rating of 30 C. Now if we convert this 1800 milliamp hours to amp hours then it will be 1.8, then multiplying it by C rating, we will get maximum discharge current. So the maximum discharge current of this battery is 54 amps. Energy density. Energy density is often defined as the amount of energy in a given mass or volume. For a battery, energy density is generally taken to be the measure of the amount of energy that a battery contains in relation to its weight. This measurement is typically presented in watt-hours per kilogram. A watt-hour is a measure of electrical energy that is equivalent to the consumption of 1 watt for 1 hour. For example, 35 watt-hours per kg laid acid battery standard power density implies that it provides 35 watt-hour of power capacity for 1 kilogram of chemical composition. Here is a comparison of power concentrations between different types of batteries. Here we can clearly see that the lithium-ion battery tends to be much higher in energy density than other batteries. That's why this kind of battery used in lightweight portable electronic gadgets such as mobiles, laptops, etc. Nominal Voltage While defining power capacity, we have a unit called watt-hours, which can be elaborated as voltage, multiplied by current, multiplied by hour. But where did the voltage gone? As the voltage of the battery will be constant and will not be varied, it is considered as nominal voltage, which is a fixed voltage. So since the voltage is fixed, only ampere and hour are considered as the unit. For example alkaline battery has nominal voltage of 1.5 volts. 
In case of lithium-ion batteries, usually 3.6 volts is considered to be the nominal voltage. Cutoff voltage, it is the voltage at which the battery can be considered as fully discharged, after which if we still try to discharge, from it the battery gets damaged. So beyond the cutoff voltage, the battery should be disconnected from the circuit and should be charged appropriately. In order to protect the battery from over-discharge and to charge the battery properly, we use BMS or battery management system. Cycle life. Let's consider a battery is fully charged and it is discharged to 80% of its actual capacity, then the battery is said to be completed one cycle. Likewise the number of such cycles that a battery can charge and discharge defines the cycle life. The more the cycle life, the better will be the battery's quality. But if a battery is discharged to say 50% of its actual capacity, considering the battery is fully charged initially, it cannot be considered as a cycle life. For example, the typical estimated life of a lithium-ion battery is about 2 to 3 years or 1800 charge cycle. So far we have been discussing various technical terms related to batteries, now we will know what are the types of batteries. Primary cell. A primary cell is a battery that is designed to be used once and discarded. The electrochemical reaction occurring in the cell is not reversible, rendering the cell non-rechargeable. Secondary cell. A secondary cell is a type of electrical battery, which can be charged, discharged into a load, and recharged many times, as opposite to a disposable or primary battery. Alkaline batteries are basically non-rechargeable or primary batteries, while rechargeable batteries are mainly late acid, nickel cadmium, lithium ion and lithium polymer batteries. Alkaline batteries are the most common batteries you will come across. They are the ones sold in every store, so they're great for projects that need to be user serviceable. In an alkaline battery cell, the powder zinc serves as an anode, manganese dioxide serves as cathode, and potassium hydroxide serves as an electrolyte. Cells are 1.5 volt and available in sizes from coin cells to AA, AAA, D cell etc. One nice thing about having multiple sizes with a standard voltage is that you can always just specify the next size up when you need more capacity and capability. Power density of these batteries are 100 watt hour per kg and nominal voltage is 1.5 volt. Alkaline batteries are used in torches, remotes, wall clocks, small portable gadgets etc. Lead acid batteries are the workhorse batteries of industry. They are incredibly cheap, rechargeable, and easily available. In an lead acid battery cell, the sponge lead serves as an anode, lead peroxide serves as cathode and sulfuric acid serves as an electrolyte. Lead acid batteries come in 2 volt cells, that means you can have a battery with an even number of volts. Power density of these batteries are 35 watt hour per kg and nominal voltage is 2 volt. A lead acid battery should be able to maintain a cycle life of more than 500 to 2000. Lead acid batteries are used in vehicles, UPSs, robotics, and other systems where a lot of power is needed and weight is not as important. These are the older rechargeable batteries that were popular for a long time. These batteries are made of nickel and cadmium chemical composition. Potassium hydroxide serves as an electrolyte. Though these are very rarely used nowadays, these are very cheap, and their discharge rate is very low when compared to nickel metal hydride batteries. Power density of these batteries are 60 watt hour per kg. Nickel cadmium batteries come in 1.2 to 1.3 volt cells, a nickel cadmium should be able to maintain a cycle life of across 200 to 2000. Because of cheap in cost and easy to recharge, these batteries are used in RC toys, cordless phones, solar lights and mostly in the applications where price is important. These are the latest in rechargeable battery technology and are quickly becoming the most common batteries for consumer electronics. They are very lightweight, don't mind high discharge rates, and have very high power density. It is basically constructed with the chemical composition of intercalated lithium and graphite, as the electrolyte used in it is lithium salt, that's why battery is named as lithium-ion battery. However, they are very delicate and require special circuitry to keep them from exploding. Power density of these batteries are very high, around 126 watt-hour per kg. These have a nominal voltage of 3.7 volts and have various ranges of power capacity. Even the C rating ranges from 1C to 10C. 
In today's world, lithium-ion batteries are used in most electronic gadgets due to their high power density and light weight. These are also called as lithium-ion polymer rechargeable batteries because it uses high-conductivity polymer gel or polymer's electrolyte. These are a bit costly, but the battery is very highly protected when compared to the lithium-ion batteries. It has power density of 185 watt hour per kg and nominal voltage is 3.7 volt. A lithium-ion polymer battery should be able to maintain a cycle life of more than 3,000. Due to their very lightweight and high C rating, these batteries are mostly used in drones, AirPods, RC cars, etc. Here I present a comparison between different types of batteries and their various types of features. I hope you can learn something new from this video. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and share the video with your friends.